and I was doing a lot of colleges. And uh, uh, this is one that I, I love, this, this, this particular college I did. It was in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, right, where they had the flood. And it was the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. And I was to go out there, fly out there, and get $500 from this. It was a lot of money for me at the time, 1980, a lot of money. And I flew out to Pittsburgh on People's Express. Now, anybody remembers People's <laughs> Express? It was $39 to virtually any Midwest city from New York City. It didn't matter. Detroit, $39. Cleveland, $39. Pittsburgh, $39. And what I loved about People's Express is they did not collect the money till you got in the air. <laughs> they would come down the aisle and collect the cash or the credit card or little thing. They had no confidence in taking off. They go, if we don't make it in the air, you don't get charged. That's their attitude. <laughs> so I get out there, and I'm going to do this, this Johnstown College. So I get there, and the, the student in charge he says, here's, he's got, he showed me the envelope with a check, which really got my attention because I needed this money. And he said, I'm glad you're here. It's finals week. We really need the laughs. It didn't really click to me because I did not study in finals week any more than I didn't study the rest of the year. So it didn't. <laughs> so he says, let's go. We're going to the library. So the guy's got a little amplifier, a little microphone, and we walk over to the library. Walk in, the library's packed with students studying, studying for the finals. And he walks in, and the guy, they know he pays attention. The guy sets up the little amplifier, plugs it in, puts the mic. The guy looks at me like, gives me that, watch this thing. And he takes the mic, and he puts it in front of the speaker, and a whole back, you know, just go, you know, the feedback happens, and the whole library snaps attention. He goes, all right, study break, study break, study break. We're going to do some comedy. And they just start screaming. They start, he, he thought it was going to be some sort of like John Belushi food fight call, you know, for fun. <laughs> But they just start screaming, no, oh, there's a library. Get out of here, you asshole. They're just screaming at him. And he hands me the mic, and immediately the librarian runs over and goes, don't you say a word to me, right? So he goes, let's go, let's go. Get out of here. These people don't want any fun. Forget them. So I, he still got the check. So I follow him, and we go over to the student union building where the exact same thing happened, man. We walk in the student union building. People are studying everywhere in this little, this little area. He sets up the mic, and right before he plugs it in, somebody yells, don't you dare turn that on. We're studying for finals. He goes, you, and he starts arguing. You people don't want any fun. You don't want any fun. I think you need some fun. We need to study. We're trying to stay in school. They're having this argument. He still got the checks. He goes, I got, he says, let's go. We're going to my dorm. So I follow him to his dorm. We went into the dorm. It's the TV lounge for this dorm. There's a TV up there, and there's all these people studying. The TV's not even on. And he sets me up in front of me. He says, do it right here. And so I do my act to these people who are studying, and they don't even look up at all. <laughs> Nobody, I, I'm, you know, and any comic knows my, my 45 minutes, whatever I plan to do, just shrank to about eight-minute lecture. It went from a... <laughs> A 45-minute comedy show to an eight-minute lecture, and I just do it, and I just, I just finish it, and I get the check from him, and I'm leaving to go out to get to my rental car to go back to People's Express, and one of the students runs out from the, the, the TV lounge and grabs me and says, hey, man, you were funny, but we were afraid if we laughed, you'd go longer. <laughs> that was a good strategy. It really was a good strategy, because one laugh, and I would have gone longer. That's no doubt. <laughs> 